Hello fellow woodworkers, welcome to this week's edition of the Garage Workshop 10 Minute Tool Review and a very special video this week. We're going to be conducting our first ever scientific test on the Garage Workshop and we're going to be looking at which of these three glues are best for bonding plywood. Will it be the expensive super glue with activator spray, the two part epoxy resin from my local Poundland or my tight bond original wood glue. Roll the intro. So fellow woodworkers, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for quite a while. And the reason why is like many of you, I'm sure, I tend to use a combination of different glues depending on what it is that I'm trying to attach together. Usually, if it's anything wood related, I go to my tried and tested tight bond, which I think is an amazing glue for wood. I've tried a lot of other ones, uh, the Evo Stick brand, the Gorilla one. This one is without a doubt my favorite, but there are occasions where you want to dry something quicker or you want to temporarily uh, attach something or stick something while you're waiting. So I quite often use super glue. Now, I'm not a super glue, super glue snob at all. The super glues that I tend to use are always the lower end of the market until I purchase this one, the Everbuild uh, set. Now, this is a bottle of super glue and an activator spray, which I've never used before. But whenever you look at woodworking YouTube channels, there's always somebody using this combination. So I wanna see if it's as good as everyone thinks it is. Is it good for my purposes? What's it like at joining wood? And the last one, is this uh, epically named Bond Together uh, two-part epoxy system. Now, I picked this up in my local Poundland, which if you are in America, it's a bit like the Dollar Tree. They sell lots of value products in there, lots of tools of the cheaper end. Everything's about a pound, pound 50. This I actually picked up for a pound. And on the back, it does specifically say uh, that it is suitable for bonding wood. Now, before you all flame me in the comments, I know what you're gonna say, it's not a fair test, they're not an equal product, I get that. That. what we're looking at is which of these three products an epoxy resin a super glue with an activator or a traditional wood glue is best for bonding two surfaces together and as I mentioned at the beginning it's going to be a little bit of a scientific test so what I'm going to do is bond two pieces of wood together using these three different adhesives we're going to leave them overnight so they've all exactly the same amount of time to cure and then I'm literally going to hang a weight on them and see how much they can take before they become unbonded, if they become unbonded, of course. Now, of course, it's not a scientific test, as I said, but this will give me a good indicator of which of these three glues are most suitable for that purpose. I don't have any preconceived ideas of which one I think it's going to be. Obviously, I've not used uh, epoxy to join wood before. When I have used it before, I've used it for uh, lining out or joining metals or plastics. And obviously, I've never used a super glue with an activator spray. So first thing to do, let's prepare the wood and let's get testing. So fellow woodworkers, I've cut myself uh, six pieces of uh, just normal 12 mil uh, plywood and what I'm going to do is mark on the centre of them a little square exactly at the same size. Uh, I'll just mark obviously one of them and that square is where I'm going to put the adhesive and I'm going to make sure it's as sort of thin as possible, one layer as possible. When they've that's on there, I'm gonna hold them together and I will make sure that I time the exact time that I push them together. I'm gonna to use a single clamp uh, to clamp them together and then we're gonna leave them for 24 hours to see uh, how well or not uh, they bond and then we'll do the test from there. So, first thing, draw out the little space in the middle and put the adhesive in.
So fellow woodworkers, here are the uh, three pieces of wood um, and they're all glued, exactly the same amount of glue uh, as much as possible and they've all been clamped with a single clamp as much as possible. So I'm going to leave them here now and I'm going to come back in exactly 24 hours and let's see how well they've stuck and then we can begin our little test to see which is the strongest. So fellow woodworkers, <coughs> So fellow woodworkers, we're 24 hours on uh, from what you just saw and I'm just going to unclamp the wood. Um, what I'm going to do is just mark each uh, one of them now, um, just so I can remember which uh, adhesive is which. So I'll mark them A. B and C. So how I'm planning on doing this, and I have no idea if this is gonna work, but it's the garage workshop, so I'm sure it won't. Um, I'm just gonna drill a hole exactly uh, in the top and bottom of each of these and just put in one of these. <coughs> <coughs> so this is... <coughs> So this is how I'm planning uh, to conduct the test. I have no idea if this will work. Being the garage workshop, there's probably a good chance it won't, but I'm gonna drill a hole in the top and bottom, and I've got these little screw sort of aisle, eyelet holes. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And I'm gonna put one on the top and one on the bottom. One I'm just gonna use to suspend it. And then on the bottom, I'm literally just gonna put a cable with um, some way of attaching a weight to it. I'm probably going to use wood, I think, uh, until it gets to the bigger, um, the amount of capacity it can take. And obviously if it gets to a kilogram or above, then I've got my weights that I can use. My gut feeling is there's a good chance this may not work, but if it does, I don't think uh, you're going to have a very clear winner. I think they're all going to be roughly about the same sort of ability, strength in terms of adhesion. So let's drill the holes, put it on now, and then we'll get going. So, as you can see, fellow woodworkers, um, even though that piece of wood is on an angle, hopefully you can see uh, the hook that's actually there is 100% straight. I just checked it off camera. Um, I've also made this little basket um, with a piece of string on it. Now, this piece of string is not uh, rock hard. It's got a little bit of uh, give in it, and I've done that deliberately because I don't want to put a hard weight and have that sort of jerk on it. And I've just cable tied um, some rope to each of these hopefully uh, that will hold so the plan is to just hook this on there and then put that through and we'll start adding weight to it like I said I've got no idea if this is going to work and I'm going to start oh, I've just realized the way that I've done this um, isn't going to work oh it will if I if I can feed that through there. Okay, so um, I'm going to start just with some loose screws. I've just measured this jar of loose screws and there are two kilograms of loose screws in it. So I'm just going to add it and see uh, if the um, wood, the adhesive gives way. Okay, so um, that is the first test. There's two kilograms worth of uh, screws in there and you probably can't see it. Um, there is, a, it has slightly uh, pulled apart. So hasn't given away completely, 
uh, but it has slightly pulled apart. So what I'm gonna do now is see if I can add another kilogram. Okay, again, it's holding really, really well. Uh, let's see if we can add another kilogram. It just actually feels like proper science on the garage workshop. Let's see if it'll take that. Whoops. I spoke too soon. Right, let's get those in the right place. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to try maybe and put them in this way. Now these are two and a half kilogram weights. So there is an extra five kilograms. Okay, so the string uh, actually went there and it wasn't the uh, weight that pulled it down. So let me modify that and we'll try again. Okay, so I, I've i replaced that with a cable tie, a thick cable tie. Um, so let's go back to where we were. Um, hopefully I can get the weights to stay. Okay, so there's seven kilograms of weight. There's seven kilograms of weight on there now and it seems to be holding I can see it separated slightly let's see if we can put another one on wow I don't know about you fellow woodworkers but I'm very impressed um that's now nine and a half kilograms on that piece of wood and it's literally just the adhesive that is holding that together Let's see if we can go to 12. So that took the entire weight. Um, it's actually the hook that was attached in it, um, which stopped it which broke it so i want to move on to the next weight and see if we have the same issue with that okay uh so fellow woodworkers i've transferred to a stall uh this is block b uh let's see how this one gets on again exactly the same so i'm going to start with the screws not sure if you can see it but that feels it's separated quite a bit already let's try the two and a half kilogram weight so far so good okay let's see if we can get another weight on there it's definitely definitely moving apart uh, the weight doesn't help but let's see if we can go for all four right I'm just gonna see if I can fix that rotate that sliding piece of rope <laughs> I've just checked uh, to see how ridiculous this looks um, I've got the three back on. Let's see if we can go for the fourth weight, which would be a total of 12 kilograms. Okay, so I've just re cable tied it. Hopefully uh, that will help. Let's see if we can get it back to where it was. If you'd remembered, we just got three weights on it, I think. Okay. So we've got 12 kilograms on there, but I've, these are really coming apart now. Um, I think another two and a half kilograms, if I could get it on there, then it would break. Um, I don't actually know um, if I can reach another two and a half kilograms. I have got the big weight. Let me see if I can get another one. Okay, so uh, as you can see, 
Um, it has given away from the hook. Hopefully uh, I got that on camera, but it has, it's not just the hook that's pulled out. It has actually uh, taken the adhesive off in the middle. Um, B was, well, I'll give you the answers at the end. So let's try the last one. So I do just quickly want to say, if anyone is still watching this video to this point, I am aware of how ridiculous this looks, by the way. Um, but I just wanted to do, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I think every now and then it's just nice to do something uh, different. So if you're still with me, thank you very much. And we've now got the last adhesive that we're going to try. So we'll start with the screws. Screws, no problem. So that's five kilograms on. Oh, I heard, I'm not sure if you'll pick that, if it picked it up. I heard a creak then um, coming from that. And I've just realized I've got this on directly with the hook, not with the uh, cable tie, which I don't think will make much of a difference, but I definitely heard a creak. Let's go for 12 kilograms. Okay, it's holding that really well. Um, so I'm going to take it off and give you what I think is my uh, conclusion. Okay, so fellow woodworkers, having conducted such a scientific test, um, I'm now going to use a slightly brute force method uh, to see which of them holds. We already know that um, B comes in last place because that broke on it. Now, between A and C, what I think is going to be the best way um, to deal with this is literally just to hammer each one apart and I'm just going to use my gut on which one is more difficult to separate, if you see what I mean. Um, I could just leave it as this, but it feels a bit unresolved. Now, I did say at the end, this is block C and there is quite a gap. I'm not sure if you'll see that on there, but there is quite a gap that's formed um, on C and I could hear it creaking. So I'm going to see how it's going to take to a couple of wax and see how hard it is. No, that is not going anywhere at all. Um, a, again, there's a couple of little gaps in it. Not sure if you can see that, not many. Um, let me see if I can get that apart. Just a couple of wax with my bolster. Oh, that came apart to wax. Now, those three uh, materials, all three, sorry, those three adhesives, uh, all three of them, um, I deliberately didn't tell you what they were. So for me, the winner of this test is C. Uh, it sustained all the way. I gave it a couple of really good wax, like I did with uh, A, I think it just was, and that's come straight apart, and this hasn't. So, I'm gonna dramatically do my final reveal of the results. So, fellow woodworkers, if you're still with me, thank you so much. For watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you didn't please let me know in the comments if you did please let me know in the comments if you are new to the channel please can I ask you to subscribe like and comment if you're a regular viewer thank you so much for your ongoing support again please can I ask you to like and comment now without further ado the winner the winner of our competition to see which is the best adhesive well the winner was C Believe it or not, C, and I find it hard to believe myself, C is actually the two-part epoxy resin from Poundland. I cannot believe it, but C is the epoxy resin from Poundland. The one that actually broke when we were doing it, B, that's the uh, tight bond wood glue, and A, which you just saw me bash apart at the end, a is the uh, expensive super glue uh, with the activator spray. Now, before everyone goes, well, of course it's gonna, be, 
I know that this is epoxy resin, I get it, and it might be that epoxy resin is just a much better uh, adhesive for this surface, but I will just say one thing, this is a Poundland product, one pound for that tiny little bit of epoxy, it went through all of that stress test and me whacking it, and even though it creaked a little bit, it stayed together. So, in this test, the winner is the Poundland Epoxy. Take care fellow woodworkers, I'll see you on next week's edition of the Garage Workshop.